Well, I was wrong. Look, I was wrong. You guys tried to tell me. You guys tried to tell me. I didn't listen. Some of you all knew this from the start. What is up there, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. How you guys doing on today? I'm back. I just got done a video, but I had to put this out right away. Some of you all already knew this, but it seemed that the outsiders, it seemed that they have admitted, well, not just seen, but it is confirmed that a diss track on January 20th will not be coming out on Eminem, and not only that, but they, it has been confirmed that they even, the member of Outsider have admitted to basically clout chasing and that he does not have any receipts or anything on Eminem and he was just trying to raise some hype. His words. Let's just get right into this. Oh man. See, I hate being wrong, people. I hate being wrong, so that's why my energy is low right now. But anyway, for those of you all that don't know what's going on, so basically, Mr. As is a member of the Outsiders and Eminem's, one of Eminem's um, more first group that he was in there in New Jersey. Um, he recently gave Eminem's until January 20th to retire. He threatened them and he said that if Eminem did not retire by January 20th in 16 days that he would definitely end Eminem's career. Now what made this threat a little bit and made people and vlogs and made people a little bit more in tune with this one is because we knew that unlike other people that just threat for the sake of threading for the sake of clout people felt like this had some grounds this had some substance because um of his relationship and we knew that eminem was a part of outsiders and there is a possibility that this guy may have receipts they may know stuff about the earlier um eminem that he might been holding on to that he might can put out it was the very fact that he had a relationship with them that they rode together they slept together they fought together they were together that this relationship added a foundation of belief for everyone so yeah, we thought that he may have, so when he threatened that he's going to bring out the receipts and bring out the, the dirt, then, you know, people kept t took it serious, um, which was a mistake. Well, it, let me show you where it all starts. So some, some red flags start, so some red flags came up on my radar when I seen this post from him. He said that, man, niggas don't call to ask how my kids are doing but quick to call in defense of white privilege you niggas the slaves you know that Harriet Tubman was talking about basically saying that you niggas are the slaves that Harriet Tubman was talking about when she said that she could have saved more if they only knew they were slaves so now and I'm like hmm why would he put out that I mean cuz think about it you know um, it does seem that with this post that he started to get calls and these calls and these DMs they, he, they didn't come from stands because he suggested that you all didn't even ask about you didn't ask about my kids or anything so stands or strangers are not people those people that he would be talking to that would be asking about his kids so he's talking about people that had a relationship that he would think that would at least ask about his kids you babysit you know my kids so he's talking about group members he's talking about people that know him people that are close to him so this post is all about imagine that these people um they were talking to him and calling him like yo i'm getting some hate you know w w what's going on with you and marshall why are you coming at marshall and which is white privilege and this made him upset you can tell that they trigger this, this triggered him you guys are gonna ask about me beefing about you know this Eminem and white privilege and and whatnot but hey I haven't heard about you do you even know how old my baby is do you even know you know you don't ask about me so 
so there's some tension here um, right now because in this next post he posts up this outsiders have nothing to do with me challenging M so please don't put them in the mix this is me doing this solo dolo so then when I seen this post next after that first post I was like yeah I was right so outside the members there's some tension here you know they they called them up i mean i mean they called them up young z all the you know someone they called them up members is like yo i'm getting hate you know come on now why are you coming at m like that like this ain't how we feel you know they called them up and which is but they didn't call him up about his kids or asking about how he's doing or whatnot. And I understand, you know, as is, I know you watch and I just want to say, you know, I understand that sense of, you know, you know, that, that when, when you lose that sense of when you feel like you have done so much, you have done so much for others, you have done so much for the game and you done put in the work and the respect is not there. The appreciation, the love and that same care and love is not there, but the clout chasing and the hate it's never the option it's never the way i mean when we get caught up in our feelings you know it, it's it's damaging it's damaging because we'll say some things and do some things that we wouldn't normally do if we just allowed the heat of the moment to pass by so man i just encourage you i encourage your heart and just say that man it's all right you know we can't depend on you just gotta know you can't depend on you can't depend on people you, the, truly the only people you need in your life are the people that need and want you in your life when you have nothing left to give you have nothing to give except yourself them the ones that you want so with this but anyway so with this post you know this was confirmed that you know the members are like yo you need to say something on the social and let them know that we ain't apart so he grudgingly and i imagine they had a back and forth but he grudgingly he did put out this hey this has nothing to do with me and it was just i did this solo dolo but you know and then his next post you know once he put out that post grudgingly i knew it was done grudgingly and he still felt a certain way that he had to that you know members they didn't back him it wasn't that they didn't back him it was i think it was more about they didn't care the appreciation that love now he hears from them now he hears from him i get it man i get it his next post was man white people they can do anything in america and get away with it you know now he's you know the fact that he had to do that because people were attacking him because of him now which led to him saying hey man white people they can do anything you know and this is suggestion to eminem hey, I, and that's, that's just how it works yo I mean, if any of the haters of Eminem, the MGKs, the Bazino has been a prime example, you know, you can't hate for, you can't, you can't look for things to be great and work out by all, if all you do is show hate. I mean, here's the deal, man. You guys, you can't look for things to work out and things to be great in your life if all you show is hate. Is if you're... If your default position to anger and frustration is just more anger and frustration, why do you think goodness is going to come out of it? I mean, somebody's got to bring in the positive. Someone's got to add something positive or something new into the mix. If all you put is flour and water, then, you know, you're not going to get a sweet bun. Got to throw in some sugar. Got to throw in some cinnamon. I mean, there are ingredients to life. There are, there are ingredients to a successful and happiness. There's ingredients that you have to put in for this pursuit of happiness to work. He puts out a, another another um, post, which start to get into it. He was like, man, I got the internet and the whole hood buzzing. This is the thanks I get. So now, you know, he's... You can, you know, he's still thinking about it. Rather, he's in his car or whatnot. He's still thinking about it. He, you know, and the more times, the more we have to think, then, oh man. But anyway, I think what he's saying here and what he's going through mentally. See, I know this stuff because I've been there before, and I've know and I understand, man. But um, you know, I had the whole internet and hood buzzing. You know, he was talking about, you know, because we made videos and whatnot. Yo, I had the whole hood. So now I start to be like, hmm. 
He's happy about this clout and whatnot. So now there, there's a little flex. There's some capping on, you know, look what I did. You know, and that light, it feels good. It, you know, it, I imagine it made him feel back to his outsider days. Some of his concert and some of the people, you know, talking about him. You know, it felt good for the moment. It was a memory. It was a flash from the past. I get it. I understand. But it's not the way. It's not the way. And then his final, his final uh, post that brought it over the top, which is basically the whole foundation for everything, is, uh, listen to this. Then he went on and posted out, you know, guys, I don't have paperwork on the homie. Him's the homie. Um, a nigga was, you know, a nigga, a nigga was heated. Because we outsiders, how are you going to defend a nigga that is on the outside was my problem the love is love and once again this uh this this rings true and it further it further concretes um the dialogue and the narrative that i'm pushing in this video that man there is something going on internally there was an internal frustration um and anger or some type of upset or some talking to between the members because of what is going on because they don't agree but then it feels like they're not with them and you know i'm just heated because we outsiders you know we we helping and we bagging and we vouching for someone on the outside. He feels that him is on the outside now. You know, although he made this confession. Um, sorry, that my notes almost flew away. I hope I edit that out. <laughs> um, although he made this, uh, although he made this um, confession, you know that uh, he was just heated and it wasn't real, and we're not getting a diss track, but. There is still, he do feel that, you know, Eminem is not an outsider. He's not part of them. You know, he does have that, that on the inside, that offense on the inside. That's all right. I mean, this is a step forward um, in all honesty. Honesty and truth and just being real is always a good step in the step direction. We can work on this internal stuff on how you feel, but you got to first want to, uh, you got to first, you know, make that first step. And that's something that the Bazinos and 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 um, people like MGK or, or you know haven't done. You know they don't make that first step. It's a constant hate. It's a constant. I am going to make people see, or I'm going to change him through my hate, through my bigotry, through my racism, through my lies. But it's not until you. Like I said, you got you got to make a step. If you want things to change, you got to change. So, this settles this case of the outsiders. The Evolve, we did it again. We did it again. Evolvers are always on it. We're always out for the truth. We're always out for being real. I like to know, are y'all disappointed? Did y'all want to see a January uh, a cancellation attempt? I'm sure there will be more this year, but as always, I can't say it enough there, guys. And like I and like I told you once before, you just gotta remember that, you know, you know people, if you have a friend that ends up betraying you in the end, then they was always a plotting hater from the beginning. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video.